What's up guys, welcome back to Trove, welcome back to my starting from scratch series. I am still recovering after my cold, so I'll apologize in advance if my voice is gonna sound a little different, but yeah, I'm just recovering after a uh, pretty bad cold. It got my neck, it got my nose, but eventually, I hope I'll be alright. And we are gonna start this episode by uh, doing some quick little box openings. Uh, we got 24 cash chests, I wanna open them all, get some extra flux, by the way, how much flux? Oh, I got, um, I got this idea, so I have 3 stellar items, right? That's, uh, that's out of the way, that's finished. But I can't call myself a uh, full stellar yet. Because I don't have the ring, so I don't know, it's best if I join trade and try and snatch a stellar ring for dirt cheap. I don't know, as long as it's got uh, physical damage, I'm all good with it. Not quite sure how much such a ring would cost. Don't think much, especially for the cheaper ones, for the lower tier stellars. Anyway, back to opening. 8.6k, decent enough, let's, uh, let's open some more, come on, I just want flux. I mean, if I get a rare, I won't mind at all, that's gonna be some uh, good mastery. But I doubt it. Yeah, there you have a decent, decent amount of pearls though. Three, nice. Instead of selling the pearls I get from uh, cash chests now, I will keep them, because uh, I'll definitely need to use them when uh, upgrading my gear. Do they all have four stats? Yup. But I can uh, always add some more pearls. And stars, of course. Okay, so I just typed in chat that I wanna buy a stellar ring with uh, physical damage. Hopefully anyone, uh, hopefully somebody is gonna stellar ring with... No, magical damage, not uh, good to me. Let's open some empowered gem boxes. And uh, maybe we're gonna get lucky and get an empowered air gem, that'll be cool. Let's see, open. No, no. Are you kidding me? Dude, what the he- Oh, wow. What was that? Okay, okay, guess we now have- uh, Oh, some offers. Level 5. <laughs> That's a little bit expensive. Too expensive. I don't know. Uh, how much for each? I think I may I may get a uh, Stellar 2 ring. Because uh, I doubt I can afford the level 4 one. Let's see. Okay, so the prices look something like this. Uh, he wants 25k for the Stellar 2 and uh, 85k for the Stellar 4, which is definitely out of the question and... Uh, yeah, definitely out of the question. Well, <laughs> if, I, if I think about it, I don't even have flux for the level 2 one. Guess I'm gonna return once I gain more flux. Once more, thanks to all of you who've uh, added me, that's so cool. Let's see, accept all friends. And done. Right, so uh, my stated mission is to reach 5000 power rank. We're almost at uh, 4k, not sure how much more power rank will a uh, stellar ring bring me. So I guess I'll need the more gems. Or at least I need to level these up. Hey, I just realized something. Look at this. I got over 20,000 cubits. Which means I can buy another uh, flask or emblem. And the first thing I'm gonna buy is... Um, more? Or is it... No, oh, yeah, it's under more. Was looking for these uh, flasks. Yeah, this is what I'm planning to buy. Actually, I'm gonna buy it right now. Death Defying Vial. Restores 30% health on use. 10 flask capacity. Automatically used when uh, low on health. Sounds good. Unlock. Yep, successful. Thank you very much. Let's equip it so. No, wait. Mistake. There you go. I now feel much safer, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna die anytime soon, unless my flasks will uh, deplete. Oh man, it's about time I finish the uh, second to last step of my uh, Renews 2018 quest. What did I get? A Kia Spark, okay, cool stuff. 
let's open these. Come on. Okay. I think I'm gonna finish this uh, quest right now. I'm gonna be hunting 200 enemies and uh, this is gonna be it. Actually, I think I'm gonna be going for some easy mastery first. You see this? You see this Bone Dragon Ascension tab? I got none unlocked and uh, I only need to craft 10 souls to get 110 mastery points. I can already make 4 and uh, all I need to make uh, 6 more souls is to buy some bones. Hmm, this should do it, but it's fairly pricey, but I need around uh, 100 souls. Let's... Oh, wow, that's exactly what I need. Well, not quite exactly, but uh, I did a right decision. Yep, definitely did the right decision, because I'm gonna get some quick little mastery, right? It's gonna be like one level and a little bit. Let's see. Wow, look at those uh, particle effects. Nice stuff, let's claim all of these and look at my mastery grow. 57. Wow, someone just offered to carry a uh, hard mode DOTM and uh, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of this. Uh, thanks! Okay, this is actually pretty cool and I'm quite excited. This is gonna be the first hard mode dotium I'm gonna clear on this account. That's a decent amount of swords, of lunar souls right here. Um... Jesper, I, I'm right next to you. Oh boy, here it comes! And here it goes, actually. <laughs> that, that was it. Oh my god, do I actually have keys? Oh my god. I just realized, I may not have- oh my god, this would suck so bad. <gasps> Thank god I can actually craft keys. Wow, I panicked a little bit. Thought I couldn't open this. That would have sucked. Nice, shadow stuff. Let's see, how many lunar souls do I have? Three? I can, oh my, can I craft this mount? Yes, I can. Well, I should, or I can craft uh, three empowered gem boxes. I should probably finish um, every mount in here, or I should probably wait for my... Dude, uh, oh my god, this actually gives 100 mastery points if I remember correctly from the previous episode, so I'm definitely gonna pick this over the mount. Let's do it. Yep, told you, 58 mastery points and another tome to use. This is pretty great, actually. Wait a minute, apparently I... Wow, this only took a single lunar soul. Which means I can still craft this, man, so many mastery points this episode. Look at that, 59 mastery points, we're getting close to 60. What rewards... Uh, what reward is on 60? Um... Oh, a uh, head style, okay. Yeah. Less excited now. But level 60 mastery is definitely gonna look good. What rank am I on the mastery high scores? 137,000. Soon. <laughs> Soon I'm gonna reach that golden name. Anyway, back to, back to the game. Can I craft some other things? With Titan Souls? I can make caches, titan treasures, which I um, I don't recommend you spend your uh, souls on these though, on titan treasures. Uh, Shape or star keys, these will be pretty useful to me. In Ever Dark, yep, I remember that. Haven't used some, um, haven't used such keys in a very long time. I had to read the description. And I think this is gonna be it for, uh, for today's episode, but before we finish this episode, I wanna open the leaderboard boxes, which I somehow missed at the beginning. Hmm, five dragon coins, that, wow, ten. And a style, very good. And uh, I'm probably gonna take care of that skill 200 enemies in the next episode. So, with that said, guys, great mastery progress uh, today. Me and uh, Lopi... Uh, Lo what? Lop... Stop moving! Lop... Lopni, I think. Are gonna tell you goodbye, and we are gonna see you on the next one.